I'm Laura Burkhalter, Curatorial Manager at the Duane Art Center and Curator of Iowa Artists 2020. I wanted to work with Rachel Cox Moore's Sana photographs because they are, in the most rich and profound sense of the word, strange. They invite the viewer into a place almost none of us welcome entering, the funeral home. Despite this subject matter, they are beautiful, crisply composed with straight lines and little clutter. Each image has a vivid, if a little surreal, color scheme. There are no humans in sight, so we don't have to feel as if we are invading a private ceremony. Although inspired by personal experience with loss and grief, Cox's images offer enough distance to allow questions about why mourning in contemporary America takes on a certain look, happens in certain types of places with prescribed actions. Do these impersonal and yet somehow familiar surroundings help with an emotional process? Can they calm us even when we find them unsettling? Cox's images offer no easy answers, but pose a remarkable set of questions about a practice that thousands of people participate in each year, but few consider its aesthetics. Although the series began before the current pandemic, the works now seem particularly relevant in this time of global loss and grief. The elegant stillness of these photographs offers a moment of study and reflection, hovering around the edges of one of life's most difficult experiences. As an artist, I've always been intrigued by phenomena found within everyday experiences. Something extraordinary or uncanny that exists sometimes imperceptibly around us within our traditions, our beliefs, and ceremonial practices. This interest takes the form of questions, and the pictures I make are attempts to answer these questions. This project, Morsina, is looking at one of the most profound experiences we will all face, the loss of someone close to us. I've helped with some of the arrangements for family members' funerals, and the funeral environment itself becomes a really complex space when you kind of stand back and look at how these spaces are intended to function. Funeral homes are businesses, and part of their business model is to create the illusion of an intimate space where one would have a very personal experience within. However, the interiors are like fairly generalized because funeral homes serve hundreds of families a year and they need to appeal to a broad audience in terms of interior aesthetics. I think most of us who have had some kind of experience with a funeral home, whether in person or through film or television, can describe some basic characteristics the spaces might have, like uh, dated motifs, theatrical lighting, ornamental draperies, and so on. So this extremely unique and personal experience of acknowledging the passing of a loved one takes place within an environment that has been designed explicitly without the individual in mind, but rather the mass averaging of what people expect these places to look and feel like. This has been a type of revelation for me, so I, I photographed the interiors in a manner as to heighten this dichotomy.